I got the radio back in the cabinet here. Now, looking at this. The, uh, this hole, I'm pretty sure, was drilled out on purpose to... Uh, I think that's quite original there. Well, it could be. Uh, maybe. Now, I got the switch here. It can range around this area. It's not that, it doesn't stick out that far. I don't want to line it up with this. There isn't quite enough space there, I don't think. But in here would be good. through the back here. Excellent spot. Right there. the spot. Right there. Let me get my drill and drill that out. Okay, cover your ears. Turn your volumes down. Take your headphones off. Okay, wait a minute. It's just covered with metal filings here. I 
see how I'm going to strain relief this too. Pop this in here. Hey, come on. There we go. Up and down is fine. Some relatively stiff wires here. Well, not really. washer for that. Okay, I have to hunt one down here. Okay, just thinking about this a little more, I think I'm going to put this back side here. Just the circular lock washer. I mean, it's not locking into metal, but it will still help. But that other, this kind that I put on the back has a little dig in tab, which is going to, especially designed for these switches to lock them so they won't rotate. Straight. That's not quite the right size. Okay, got to find the right socket here to really get this down nice and tight. Strain relief this wire is this one here. Okay, I'm putting a fair bit of strain on the switch right now. I think all I gotta do is just tie wrap it to the back of the grill here. Like that. part of the tie wrap on the back. Making 
sure no shorts are happening or are likely to happen. That's going to present a problem to anybody who wants to take the back off and get it right away from the radio. But I'll just have to cut the tie wrap and replace it later. It's really not a major issue here. tight. Very good. That's not terribly annoying. Now, next step is check the dial alignment on this radio. So I want to uh, screw it in from below so it's positioned exactly where it goes. darn tough to make an adjustment with the radio in. Unfortunately. So let me straighten up my shop here. I'll put the screws in the bottom and get the thing lined up and we'll do that. Okay, so we're all ready now to test the radio dial accuracy and see where we are on that. The radio's position properly. I can see the knobs are centered in the holes here. So let's uh, let's get her going. I have my signal generator running. The radio's on. Volume's turned down. I'm not sure which way the switch is in the back. radio. So first thing I'm going to do is dial up 900. So that's right on the 900 mark. And then I'm going to dial up on my signal generator 900. Everybody cross their fingers. get down to 900 on this band here. Whoops. Okay. Up to 900. Here we come. Eight eighty. See where 900 actually is. Now, according to the instructions for this radio, the way to correct this is to just move the pointer. It's just a wee bit surprising. So, just a wee bit off, not by much. I mean, let me put a better camera on it here. Okay, so there, there it is. By the way, I'm feeding in the uh, signal generator just using a loop near the back of the radio. It's not actually connected directly to the radio. So that's 
880. So what we'll do is we'll go down here. And I'll retune this down to 600 here. There we come. I the book, same value. You know what? This really isn't on 600. There's a parallax error with the camera. So uh, corrected for parallax looks wrong on camera, but it's not now. Bingo! No, that's 580. What am I saying? So, so we're getting 580. Again, 20 kilohertz off. Let's go way up to the other end. No, that's 1580. Now it looks good in the camera. It's parallax error to the benefit of the pointer. It's it's slightly off low again. So it's a matter of moving the pointer to the right just a tiny amount. Uh, pretty much as good as we're gonna get it. The pointer itself looks like it's just a wee bit bent. What just happened? Oh no, don't tell me. The string just broke or dismounted in there. What? <laughs> no! <laughs> Come on! Come on, I've just finished. Well, better that it happened here in the shop than back with the owner at the last moment. Uh, it's either dismounted or it broke. It feels to me like it dismounted. Arr. Okay, but I can handle that. I can handle it. But that's good for now. We're good enough for now. Uh, you know what? I can't stand the suspense. i got to pull the radio out and see what's actually happening. Okay, so here we are, looking at the radio here. So what's happened is the string is not broken, it's simply dismounted from the big wheel. But in some ways that's almost more disturbing uh, because the dismounting is usually caused by some kind of misalignment of the pulleys. And sometimes we're talking about fractional amounts. So the capacitor wiggles around, the wheel is nice and solid. It's not wobbly or off kilter, but but I'm not going to deal with it right now. That's going to be the topic in the next video, because apparently there's always another video. Hmm. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you soon.